welcome back to the channel. Um, we're actually on our way uh, over to the condo. It's going to be condo day today. Uh, we're going to work more on the the staircase. Try to get those treads. Got a few more rows of carpet that need to be removed. But then after that, we're going to go back and um, kind of inset those steps in, those treads. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on the ones higher. I'm going to make sure that they're glued in as well. I'm going to put some uh, some bracing underneath it uh, just so that uh, we're not going to get any creaks out of it. And then that one step or that one tread that's a little deeper, I'm going to actually take that up. Um, we're going to probably pop that a little higher. And then if I need to plane it down, I'll block plane it down. Um, I would rather have it that way than kind of a little dip because we want these things to be as solid as possible. And the only way to make them solid is really to um, glue and screw them. So that's what we're gonna end up doing. So we'll meet you over at the condo. Okay, we've just finished all of our steps, um, getting them cleared. I know you probably think, hey, why not put that um, right on top of these and trim this off and stick it up. Uh, it's, it's just not the way I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna lift up one, two, three, four, five, six, cut them down, uh, slide them in. I've got some a different method to, to make those go in. We're gonna glue and screw them. I am gonna uh, lift up the one down at the bottom and make that level, even if it's higher. Uh, that'll be good, but other than that, then let's just continue. So I did go purchase this kind of different crowbar here. It was about 20 bucks. I'm sure you can get them cheaper, but this had some real good weight to it. Um, but I tell you what, I really like it because it is, all I have to do is drive this in. really a speed saver. Now, it's not gonna do anything good for your wood, but we don't care. But it just pops up really good. I've gone ahead and started taking out the stairs. Oh, we got this one back in. I'm actually putting one by twos, kind of a stringer in there and reinforcing and gluing and screwing all of that. So we're gonna take out a couple rungs here and put them back in.
but we're actually on the home stretch here. I've got two more to put in. And once we get these in, they'll be boxed well. Uh, I did buy a 12 inch wide or 11 and a quarter, something like that. Uh, kind of a, a side screw that we can put in here and take a look at. But I'm gonna cut these, actually I'm gonna put these sides here back on. Um, glue those down, get those ready. And then uh, we'll put, get these right here cut. And as soon as we have those cut <clears throat> and glued in, we should be good. I'm glad that I, oh, here's the top. Um, I'm glad that I didn't go and buy more glue, because I don't need any more glue at this point. I will, because I'm going to glue all of this stuff back on, but at this particular point, I'm going to be okay. Let's go ahead and finish up those two rungs there, and we should be good for the day. We're actually working through our last step here. So now all we gotta do is put on the, our rough riser um, and glue those on and we've got enough here. This step here is gonna be a little high for now uh, just because it's probably about an inch but we'll end up bringing it back because we're probably only gonna do, we'll do a bull nose on this and then we'll do uh, a quarter inch piece of, of red oak. So we should be pretty good. So I'm gonna get the rest of this done and then we'll put this little side skirt on and see what it looks like. There we go, we have finished these all screwed and glued and so it's gonna end up being really good and tight and firm, definitely is firm. Um, so that'll be a good one. I'm gonna kind of put that stringer along here and let's see what we can kind of get out of it. The cool part about this is that this one here doesn't matter I'll just put it in and nail it in 
Um, We'll have to figure out, I may have to do some cutting in here, but other than that, it may just go in pretty easy. I'm gonna clean some of this up, but um, we have made great headways today. Let's see what we can do with this riser here. Not riser, screen. Grip. Side skirt. I'm gonna keep that there for now. That's probably way too tall. But the thing that it does do is it allows us to get a good idea of how that's gonna sit in there. Um, I'm kind of thinking we only want about two inches there. And if that's the case, then we'll end up cutting that down more. I do think the one thing that's a little interesting is this right here, but although that could be just an illusion, we'll end up trim, trimming that out. But I actually think that's gonna look really good. See, so, you know, if I look at this, I know that's high, but look if we put that down there all the way, and then this is just flush up against that. That actually would trim that out pretty well. So if you come back and take a look at it, it's starting to look like a stair once again. I laid in my very first this is the next day, and I went ahead and laid in my very first side skirt. And these treads are not the same distance. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it in at this, this is a 12 inch piece. Of course on this side, they'll have to be changed a little bit. But one of the things that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna splice this in. I could have got a full piece, but I don't have a vehicle long enough to get a 12 foot piece in here. So I'm gonna do some splicing. I found the studs and we'll end up putting this here and carrying the rest on up. So we should be good. But then the other part is just duplicating this over on the other side um, so that we're pretty straight. I'm gonna have to come back in here and do some work on this because that nothing is straight on this condo. So I'm gonna lay this in, go out and get another piece, uh, put the other side in, and then we'll start on the other side. I kind of lucked out. I was gonna take this in and out a couple times, but I kind of lucked out on the first shot. Uh, it just went right in. So I've got a little bit of gap here, but I'm gonna end up just making sure that that is all taken care of. But uh, I'm happy with this. So what I'm gonna do is shoot this in, get it tight, and then we'll come over on this side. I think about all I'm gonna be able to do today is just measure it. Uh, because I'm gonna have to, I know that I'm gonna have to go back and trim the boards down. So that's all we'll do. We'll shoot this and be done. Well, I'm just not doing well at filming at all. So I went ahead and I shot these in but forgot to, forgot to film it. So 
I'm gonna take and put all of this up. Like I said, we won't be able to do this, but I'll at least do the measurement. Well, the one thing that I did notice as I'm coming down through here, I measured, you know, where these corner points are, and they're at about four inches. And they seem to be pretty consistent. That one there jumped. Hmm. So I really want to take a look at this because it's possible I may have to trim this down some. But as you can tell, some of these are just way off. They're just not consistent at all. So what I'm going to try to do is see if I can kind of bring these two together. I mean, it'd be an optical illusion as long as this is straight going up and kind of has some consistency, you're not gonna look back on both of them. So let's see if we can get that worked out. things that I found out here is that although these are the lines, um, we're actually going to take this and go at the higher. And so we'll cut it this way. So we're going to take this full section out and this right here is going to give us the right amount that we need. And almost four, four inches. This right here is almost four inches too. So that's going to lay down there. That should lay down there really well. So I'm going to finish the rest of these out. And then we'll just get out there and just start cutting it. Well, now that we've cut this out, this could either be a complete um, waste of a piece of wood, or it could go pretty well. I'm thinking that it's gonna go pretty well. We'll just take it in and see what we can get. So it actually did pretty well, with the exception of, you see the little gaps down there, a uh, little here, but it's really tight here, so I'm gonna take off a little bit off of these sides so that we can tighten that gap up. But hey, I think we're gonna, we've got a winner here. Well, we were able to get this in and that's gonna be really nice because that'll just match in there. Don't know what we're gonna do over here yet. But I did do a little break here, but I'll come back. 
and we'll take and glue that back in. So that'll, that'll be good. Sand that all down. I'm gonna go ahead and nail this in and we are gonna call it quits for the day. I may, I, I do have some liquid nail. Maybe I'll put a little liquid nail on it and at least we won't lose the piece. Uh, probably would be good if we had a different, a little bit of different glue, but that's gonna be okay. We'll take and, we'll take and do that. That should be it for today. Make sure you uh, subscribe. Hit that thumbs up if you like the content and turn on your post notifications for all the new episodes. Peace at ya.